Halloween of 2013. Me, my brothers, and my cousin were all in our costumes, getting ready to go trick-or-treating. My older brother's name is Marcus, my little brother's name is Aaron, and my cousin's name is Joseph. Like any children, we were super excited to walk around our neighborhood and collect lollies from random people's houses, because that's always been the spirit of Halloween, and we love it. We were in our lounge room going crazy and waiting for my dad to be ready so we could leave, and by the time we were all ready to go, we left the house and our Halloween journey began. We decided that we would go through all the houses in our street, just as a starting point for our long walk around the entire neighborhood. After knocking on three houses, one of which actually answered, we walked towards a house with absolutely no Halloween decorations, but instead a sign that was sticked on the door. We walked towards the door and started reading the sign that said, we don't celebrate Halloween, so don't bother us or else there will be consequences. Of course, being the young ones we were, we didn't take the sign seriously and my dad said, let's just move to the next house, but we had something else in mind. Marcus told Joseph to pull out the can of silly string that he brought with him for some reason and started spraying it all over the house while me and my brothers were bashing on the door telling them to give us something. We were extremely young, so it's not surprising that we would do something so irresponsible, but what made it even more stupid is that we were doing it all right in front of my dad, who of course got pissed and pretty much forced us to grab all the silly string. As we were cleaning things up, I noticed my dad was looking at these massive bushes that was outside the house, and it looked like he could see something. We all asked what was wrong, but before my dad could answer, a person jumped out of the bushes and tackled my dad to the ground. The person seemed to be wearing a ghost face mask and had a knife in his hand. It appeared he knocked my dad out and all of us started screaming until he ran up to me and started pulling me with him and away from my brothers and cousin. I was screaming even louder, shouting for help until a gang of teenagers noticed what was going on and the ghost face guy let me go and made a run for it. The teenagers started chasing after the guy while I ran back to my brothers and cousin who were sitting around my dad crying. A few minutes later, the teenagers came back and told us that they were unable to catch the guy and he disappeared in the woods. We told the teens everything and one of them called the police. When the police arrived at the scene of the incident, they revealed that the house the person might have been staying in was vacant. To this day, it's unknown who the person in the ghost face mask was, but people are having rumors that it was a child molester living in a vacant house, waiting for the perfect opportunity to snatch a child while they were trick-or-treating. Either way, that was easily the most scariest thing that has ever happened to me on Halloween. It was Halloween night of 2017 and I was with my friend and my brothers. My friend's name is James, my older brother's name is Brian, and my little brother's name is Riley. We were all getting our costumes on to do some trick or treating for a few hours because we loved doing it every single year, but unfortunately it was a school day so that usually means my brothers and James would be tired, but since it was Halloween we were all extremely pumped. We were trick or treating for hours on end and we noticed a lot of parents were taking their young children home, but we didn't care and thought we could stay out for as long as we wanted to. Approaching our next house, we noticed it didn't seem to have any Halloween decorations put up, but we thought that maybe the people in the house would still hand us a bit of candy anyway, so we started walking towards the door. We knocked on the door and yelled trick or treat, but instead of someone opening the door, we heard a man's voice inside the house telling us to fuck off. We were pretty young and stupid and we all shouted fuck you too and laughed. As we were walking down the porch steps, we all heard slight thumps at the window behind us. We turned around and were greeted by a creepy looking man at the window staring not specifically at all of us, but my little brother Riley, who was closest to the door. The man quickly moved away from the window, opened the door and grabbed Riley as he immediately started screaming. Brian tried to grab the man but it was too late as he ran inside the house with Riley and closed the door. Brian started banging on the door, James was shouting for help and I was just standing there in complete shock and terror. The street we were in was completely dead and there was absolutely no one walking around so calling for help didn't seem to work. Brian quickly grabbed a rock and threw it out the window completely shattering it and as he entered through the window to inside the house he told me and James to stay outside as he went to go save Riley. After a minute of waiting, we both heard the blood curdling scream of Brian. We both started crying our eyes out until a couple walking by noticed us and ran up to us to ask what was wrong. We told them what was going on and the guy immediately started calling the police while the lady was continuously asking us questions. The police finally arrived and started walking inside the house through the window and investigated the place. One of them came back out and gave me the unfortunate news of the two dead bodies of Riley and Brian, who had both been stabbed in the heart. 
The man must have gotten away through a back door since they couldn't find him anywhere in the disgusting house. The police sent James home and then me, told my parents what happened and they were devastated for weeks after that. To parents out there allowing their kids to go trick or treating alone, you gotta be aware that something terrible could possibly happen to them and that there are always creeps around, especially on Halloween. Oh my god! Oh, okay, you can't really see me, but oh well. I tried. But either way, guys, this is gonna be the end of the trick or treating horror stories video. I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, what? You're back to making horror story videos again? Why? I thought you quit doing that like three years ago. Well, I did because I noticed a lot of people didn't seem to have really any interest with this, with the series. So I quit. I quit doing it. I actually honestly got kind of bored of doing it. So that's why I quit. And now I possibly might be back to doing this again because why not? So if you would possibly want this series to return, please let me know in the comments if you would want the series to return. Don't give me a I don't know or maybe or something. Give me an actual answer. Give me a, just a say yes or no. Just give me an actual answer if you want the series to return or not. But either way guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Um, We are exactly one week away from Halloween because since Halloween takes place on a Saturday this year, what day is it today? It is Saturday. So we are exactly one week away from Halloween. So um. Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be a vlog this year. I do have one planned if we do end up doing some stuff for Halloween. But despite the whole COVID thing, uh, hopefully we'll be able to do some stuff for Halloween. I'll be able to vlog it and then we'll get that out um, at least like on the 1st of November or something. So hopefully we'll get that out. But this could possibly be the final video of October if I if that never gets released and yeah but this could possibly be the final video of October. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I have nothing else to say. I hope you enjoyed and... Happy Spooktober!